Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. This week's Movie Monday is Days of Thunder, starring a young Tom Cruise. This is a racing movie based on NASCAR. It's not based on a true story, but apparently it's based on two famous NASCAR characters who I don't know because um, I never watched NASCAR. But one day I want to watch the uh, Indy 500 in person. That's great. That'd be great, I think. Anyway, I was streaming a Sunday morning, actually. Sunday evening. It's 5 p.m. Um, I got confused because I was going to tell you a bit of a story. Not really a story, but regardless. I was watching F1 earlier today. It's midday uh, start to the race. And someone in the chat mentioned that this movie have you seen this i haven't seen the movie <laughs> i'm just like wow tom cruise in an ascar movie and it has a like, two hangmans in it and one's his teammate um, top gun reference if you've seen top gun maverick yeah i thought wow that's actually sold me quite a lot so uh yeah i do i'm interested in getting into nascar as well i don't know if a film's gonna help me get into it but um I've never really seen NASCAR movies unless Cars counts. And I love Cars, one of my favourite animated movies, but it doesn't really count, does it? I saw the actual car from Talladega Nights. I went to Los Angeles earlier this year. I toured Sony Studios, Talladega Nights, that car was there, the actual like road car that Will Ferrell drove. Never seen that movie, so I need to watch that. IMDb synopsis is a young hotshot stock car driver gets his chance to compete at the top level. That's just a simple synopsis. I have seen racing movies before, um, but Formula One. Um, there's a movie called Rush. Incredible movie. Even if you don't like Formula One, it's a great racing movie and it's a great story, a true story as well. And there was another one more recently. Not F1. Ford v Ferrari. That was a racing movie that was also incredible. Matt Damon was in it, Christian Bale. But anyway... Um, the only NASCAR I've seen in a film, I think, is from Fast and Furious, and that wasn't, that was just Fast and Furious. <laughs> this is an actual racing movie, and I'm seeing the Daytona 500, I think, right now, which is the race I want to visit. I want to visit Florida, Florida to see that race one day. Um, I'm looking forward to watching this. I'm watching it right now. The credits are rolling, the cars are running. Um, I hope it's good, because I like sports-style movies, even if it's sports. I've seen NFL movies. Never watched NFL, apart from, like, two Super Bowls that I didn't understand, I didn't like that much. But I've seen NFL movies, and I've enjoyed them, even without enjoying the sport itself. So, like, I love sports stories, you know, so this is something... Um, that I'm sure I'm going to enjoy as well because I love motor racing stories as well. I knew nothing about the story in Ford v Ferrari. Loved it. So I'm looking forward to this. And I know NASCAR has a lot of crashes as well. So, uh, and I'm seeing a crash right now. Number 43 just got crashed out. Number 43 in cars also gets crashed out at the end of the movie. <laughs> but anyway, let me stop talking. I'm just seeing a racing compilation right now, but I'm sure the talking will start, so let me not interrupt myself when that happens. I enjoyed the movie. I got Harrogate's Spring Water, the original British spa town in a glass bottle. The first dialogue part, there's a guy asking someone to build a car for him and he's just like, <laughs> no, <laughs> and you can't even find a driver, it's too late. I assume he'll find a driver and it's Tom Cruise. Just, just guess. That Nicole Kidman police scene. Wow. <laughs> that, that might be the best prank ever put on film. For certain reasons. Anyway, apart from that Nicole Kidman interesting move scene. 40 minutes in, it's straight up racing movie. There's no like side story. Um, and I quite like, there is like a bit of side story there. But like, it's mostly racing. And the scenes that aren't racing... It's related to the racing, so uh, I like that. It's just straight up racing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm 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 enjoying it so far. Oh wait, wait, sorry, Nicole Kidman is in this because she's in the cast list. That wasn't her. She wasn't the female cop. It was Leilani Sorel. Leilani Sorel. That's the woman who's the cop who did the concealed weapon scene. I f for some reason, I thought that was Kidman. Right. <laughs> My apologies, <laughs> but still uh, an incredible scene. Don't watch it if you're too young. Ah, so Nicole Kidman is a doctor who treats Tom Cruise and his rival when he gets injured. He had a bit of uh, the injury comeback story and a romantic story as well at the same time. Back into the racing now. I do like the storyline because like Tom Cruise, he impressed in his test lap, but he just gets in and drives a car. He doesn't know anything about the actual car. So like. It's hard communicating with him uh, at the start, but then they find a common ground 
and he starts to actually win races instead of crashing. Um, but now they want to win Daytona, and uh, he's got a new teammate. The boss has hired a new teammate for Tom Cruise. I assume this guy's a bit of a prick, just like the other driver we've seen. Uh, <laughs> the driver whose car Tom Cruise tested in the first place to get in. Um, but yeah, I like where this is going, and I assume it's going to end in brutality, and I would assume a Tom Cruise victory. Sorry, I said teammate, I meant the owner has got another team. So the owner's now got two cars, he's got two separate teams. And in the next race, that other team crashes Tom Cruise out and wins the race. The owner starts celebrating, so after the race ends, Tom Cruise pits for new tyres, and he goes straight out into the pits and crashes into the other car. So now that owner, both of his cars are damaged. <laughs> That escalated quickly. Quite the finale they set up. So Rowdy, who's been his rival for most of the movie, because Rowdy can't race anymore because of his brain, he's now racing in Rowdy's car. <laughs> and that's his way back into NASCAR. And he's got to obviously take revenge on the guy that uh, knocked him out the last race that he crashed into and destroyed both cars. But well, that's funny. So Tom Cruise crashed out, and I'm, I'm not calling him by his character name, but I'm going to call him Tom Cruise. He crashed out, he has to pit to get his car repaired, and he's got to get out um, before the pace car just to stay in the race. That's very similar to the scene in Cars, the animated movie, <laughs> at the end of that movie. That's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> somehow I've made a comparison with this from that Pixar movie. Uh, somehow it's happened. Yeah, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. That was uh, it was a good ending to the race as well. That was pretty fun. Um, I didn't love it, um, but I enjoyed it. I had a good time. I give it a 7 out of 10. But yeah, look, Tom Cruise, Robert Duvall, Nicole Kidman, and who could forget Michael Rooker as well, obviously, yeah. I love him in the Marvel movies. Uh, <laughs> the ones he was in anyway. Um, and he's been in plenty of great movies uh, over his time. So uh, yeah, just uh, a brilliant cast, just those four people alone. Uh, that which is in he's incredible. There's some good funny moments in it, some explicit moments. And uh, yeah, had some good storytelling and a bit of romance in it as well. But yeah, I didn't love it. I didn't think it was like amazing, but I did enjoy it and uh, worth the watch. At some point, I need to watch Talladega Nights because uh, that's, 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 that's that is the NASCAR movie. Anyway, yeah, uh, this is your boy Zavadov. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. It's a seven out of ten. I shall see you next week for who knows what we could watch. Goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You'll have a good time wherever you're